Welcome to A to Z English Quick Tips, Oreo edition. We've got another Oreo question, a quick opinion question that Jack and I are going to talk about today, following the standard Oreo advice. Remember, you can check our website and the show notes for the links to the original Oreo episode so you can learn how you should organize your short opinion questions as well. And today, I've been thinking a lot about travel, Jack. I, I haven't yeah. been able to travel in a while because of COVID, but some of my friends are are planning to travel soon. And uh, you're going to travel as well. And we both yep. live in another country, of course, yeah. and, and have for a very long time. So I think I know our answers to this. But one question I often ask my students is, should everyone live in another country for at least six months? Yes. So what do you think? Do you do you agree or disagree? Everyone should live in another country for at least six months. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? And, okay. and why? Well, here's my Oreo. I think I'm going to everyone... actually I'm going to time you really quick here. You're going to time so, me? OK. But yeah, let's just go ahead and see what we can do. So just like if this was a speaking test. All right. So 30 seconds. Do you need any time to think? It's supposed to be one minute. I'm just going to time you and we'll just see where it goes because every okay. test is different. Yeah. So we're just going to look at that. All right, go. I think everyone should live in another country for six months because when you live in another country, you realize that we are all the same. And for example, when I moved to Thailand in 2001, I had never lived in another country before, but as I spent more time there, I started to realize that we aren't really that different at all. Humans are, we have different cultures and different traditions and customs, but mostly, you know, overall, we're very similar. We, we, we love our parents. We love our family. Mm -hmm. We love our children. Yep. We eat meals together. We laugh. We cry. We share so many things in common, much more than we have more things in common than we do different um so i for those reasons i think living in another country for six months is a great idea nice that was one minute and five seconds so ah, you're just okay. over I was, I was shooting for one minute, although i did uh i That's... stumbled in there a little bit so yeah but that was quite close to one minute so so yeah. pretty good um but yeah just a little bit a little bit over a little bit not... long yeah yeah, a little bit long, but not bad at all. I think that's pretty good because if you're watching a timer, you could easily have have stopped yourself if you need to. Yeah. So I obviously agree as well, but I'm going to try and give a different reason for for this just okay. because I don't want to repeat the same things. Although I do very much agree with you. I think that was one of the the beautiful things about living in other countries is meeting people from all over and and realizing that that we're all just people as well. Exactly. Right. Right. So let's see. All right. I'm going to go with, with something a little bit, a little bit different here for this, but okay. So are you going to time or should I yeah, time I'm myself? timing you? I've got my stopwatch ready. All right. So I also believe that everyone should live in another country for at least six months. Because by moving to another country and living in another country, you not only learn about other people, which is very important, but you learn about yourself. You learn about who you are. For example, I lived in the Netherlands for a semester as a student, and I went there. I had no friends. I had no family. I didn't know anyone when I was there. And in order to adapt in order to survive there, I couldn't be the same shy Kevin that I used to be. And I learned that I'm not that Kevin. I learned who I am and how I deal in these stressful, interesting situations. And you can learn so much about yourself when you go to another country. So that's why I think everyone should spend at least six months in another country. And 55 seconds. Perfect. <laughs> You I was cheating. It. I had yeah. the timer going on for myself as well. So I was able to watch it. <laughs> well, I think if we if we put ours together and divide it by two, we're right at one <laughs> we're, minute. We got average. Our and average time is for perfect. everyone out there listening. Uh, again, try and answer this question for yourself. 
and get your stopwatch out. And I would recommend because most speaking tests, which is the point of Oreo, most speaking tests will give you a short amount of time to prepare. So 30 seconds, maybe sometimes a minute. So time yourself and have just a short time to think and then time yourself for your answer as well. And try and stop right around a minute. A little bit less is OK. Usually a little bit over is not OK, but it depends on on the test that you're doing. But aim for close to one minute. And if you go under, if you go over, that's fine. The whole point is to practice, practice, practice. And Oreo gets easier and easier every time you do it, which is why we're doing this every time. Yep. So come talk about it for yourself and then come to our WhatsApp, Facebook, website, anywhere you want and share your Oreo with us. If you want, you can type it out and we can look at the grammar there. And if you want, you can also record it. And if we have time, we'll we'll listen to your Oreos and see if we can see if we agree or disagree. And everyone else can can talk about those as well. So we'll see you in the chats. What do you think? Should everyone live for at least six months in another country? Yes or no? See you there. Bye bye.